with Salt Lake Piano Service Company, and this video is to show you how to use the tools in our soundboard cleaning toolkit. Let's go ahead and, and dive right into it. The tools that come in the kit are these two. There's a thin, flexible piece of steel that's used to work a rag into the strings and work it around in areas that are hard to reach. And this wiping tool is also included in the kit. Now both these tools are standard to the industry and have been for some time, but uh, we've made some improvements. As you can see, what we've done is added stitching and, double, and a double layer of cloth here so for durability and also to ensure that these pieces won't come detached from the rest of the tool. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would clean this piano. This is a Steinway & Sons Model B and it's, it's quite old. It's due for a rebuild but uh, it's also gathered a good layer of dust which makes the perfect demonstration. You can see here that there is quite a collection of dust that we can see on the plate quite readily. And although we can't see it very well from the camera and the lighting here, that same accumulation of dust is underneath the strings on the surface of the soundboard. Now, functionally, it's not a big deal that we clean the soundboard. It's not going to make a drastic difference in the tone or anything like that. Uh, but I find that with many of my customers, it's an issue of peace of mind. And also, the other thing for me as the one who maintains the pianos, if that dust is allowed to accumulate and sit for any lengthy period of time, it becomes very difficult to keep that piano looking like a new piano. The first thing I'm going to do is get a piece of t-shirt cloth material, something like this, that's clean. I'm going to saturate it with a product that I like to use that's readily, I like to use it because it's readily available. Uh, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at other locations. But I'm going to go ahead and use this to saturate the rag. And you can clean the soundboard area approaching from the tail if you have access to this area. It's very easy to do it this way or the front. I'll show you the front later, but we'll start with the tail. And I'm going to come here and get this area in the back. Then I'm going to use the wiping tool to just run the rag over these surfaces. The tool is made out of brass, so you don't need to worry if you make contact with the strings. It's not going to damage them. It's softer than the metal, metal alloy that's used in the music wire strings. So I get everything that I can reach to a point from this back side. Then you can simply pull the rag. If there's a lot of dust accumulated, you can suck it off with a vacuum. And then we'll go to the front. Now here's where the soundboard steel comes in. That's what we call it in the industry, soundboard steel. If you double the rag over it, it's easy. You can find some place to work it in. Sometimes between the strings there's a larger gap. Then I can place the wiping tool directly on top of it and scrub things this way. You may wonder at this point, will this knock the piano out of tune? Um, from my experience, it does not for the most part. These strings are under heavy forces as they're hit. Um, if it does affect the tuning of the piano, it'll either be temporary or to a very minor degree. At this point, I also use the soundboard steel to get these areas, as the piano gets a little, the soundboard area gets a little bit skinnier up here towards the treble end. As you can see, I've got a little piece of paper or something that's in there, and that can be removed easily. We can get that out of the action later. If you are cleaning your own piano rather than having a technician do it and you're worried about debris, we could have blown that paper out the other side and it wouldn't have been lost in the action if you're worried about that. Grab it, 
and pull it out at the very end. Most of the surface is done here. I'll suck it up with the vacuum. Now, my rag is still damp. If, if, if there were any areas that didn't get wiped very thoroughly, I could, I could go through and do the whole process again. I think that's probably pretty good for this panel, but with the rag still damp, this dust on the plate will cling to it very well. You might also uh, wipe the dampers here. When you're wiping the dampers, people are often afraid they're going to damage the piano. The main thing is you don't want, these dampers are on uh, rather fragile wires. You don't want to twist them in this direction very vigorously. So you want to wipe kind of this way or brace them a little bit with your fingers if you're worried that you might. Another great cleaning tool is using a microfiber rag and that also can be, you can put some detailer on that and it also cleans the dust off the plate very well in all of these areas. Okay, I know this video is about the tools in the kit which are included, but I also want to show you, for those who might be interested, how I go about cleaning the area around the tuning pins here. I use a paintbrush, run-of-the-mill paintbrush that you can get from any hardware store. Now I clean a lot of pianos and so I like to use something with real bristle in it because it doesn't craze over time and fray out and I can get into cracks and crevices over and over without it wearing out. But if you're not cleaning your piano that often or you just like making trips to the store, uh, you can use the nylon bristle brushes just as well. Thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful to you.